Uh, good afternoon to all of you. We are going to start this last session. And uh, expert is already here. He would be going to start. Good afternoon, sir. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Good afternoon. We welcome you in Central University of Ghana through Thank online mode. <laughs> Very soon we will invite you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ashmit, <laughs> please start. Yes, sir. So good afternoon, everyone. We are finally reached the concluding session of the five day Atal Academy faculty development program, leadership and teamwork for education excellence. Organized by School of Engineering and Technology, Central University of Haryana. By this time, we all have understood the importance of leadership and teamwork in the education sector. And not only that, we have gained so much from this. From Tata, so no. After this ends, I truly believe we will be able to perform much better and yield much better outcomes in our respective sectors. Anyways, for our final session, we have been joined by our esteemed speaker, Engineer S.K. Manucha. To introduce him, I would request Ms. Priyanka to come forward. Okay. Thank you, Ashma. Thank you. So, good afternoon, everyone. And so, moving on to the last session of last day of faculty development program. Today, we are fortunate enough to have an expert, Engineer S.K. Manucha, sir, Assessor Management System, Consultant QCI, a global trainer, and a lean practitioner to enlighten us on the theme of leadership and teamwork. S.K. Manucha, sir, is a en mechanical engineer, did MBA in marketing management and distinction holder in total productive maintenance from Japanese Management Association. He is one of esteemed board of studies member for MBA in construction management for KIIT University. He also been a faculty of Nikma University, Delhi for almost 40 years. Sir has been associated with the industry for the last five decades with the hands-on experience in plant engineering, operation, equipment management, construction management, heavy civil construction project, steel manufacturing and oil and gas sector with MNCs in India and abroad and many more. We are extremely honored and blessed to have him with us. So without taking any more time, I would request Engineer SK Manucha, sir, to come forward and enlighten us with your kind words. Welcome you, sir. Thank you very much, madam. <clears throat> Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, eminent HODs, professors, distinguished guests, dear friends. आज मैं आपके बीच हूँ सबसे पहले आपका बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद आपने मुझे ऐसा मौका दिया कि मैं आपके बीच आज मैं जो भी बोलूँगा आफ्टर ऑल वो जो मैंने पढ़ा जो मेरी एजुकेशन रही जो गुरुओं ने बताया या माँबाप ने सिखाया प्लस जो मेरी अपनी लाइफ का एक्सपीरियंस है यू तो इंटरनेट गूगल आज के टॉपिक से भरा पड़ा है ऑलरेडी मेरे से पहले कुछ एमिनेंट स्पीकर्स ने इस बारे में चर्चा की है मैं अपना एक्सपीरियंस और एग्जांपल्स पे ज्यादा शेयर करूंगा और अब मैं आपसे चर्चा करूंगा आज के रेलेवेंट टॉपिक जो कि एक ज्वलंत टॉपिक है और आपने ऐसा टॉपिक सुना चुना इसके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सो आई विल टेक स्क्रीन शेयर एम आई ऑडिबल यस सर यू कैन स्क्रीन सी माई स्क्रीन यस यस सर ओके थैंक यू सो लीडरशिप एंड टीम वर्क फॉर एजुकेशन एक्सेलेंस लीडरशिप और टीम वर्क की तो हर जगह जरूरत है पशु पक्षी नेचर जंगल के जानवर सारे इस, इसी चीज को इंप्लीमेंट करते हैं जिसकी हम आज चर्चा करेंगे और I will begin my discussions presentation a brief about education excellence abhi kya present scenario hai what are the challenges ahead 
And if there are challenges, then what is the roadmap? And if at all we have to implement, take action plan, where we are and where we need to go, then what is the role of leadership? And some relevant experiences, examples, I will be sharing with you on practical aspects. And finally, the teamwork, building teams, sharing some examples and conclusion. In case if there is some hangover, some internet failure in between, you will kindly excuse me, but needless to mention, I will be joining back in a minute. So when we talk of excellence, what is excellence? There are different definitions. And this milestone, this benchmarking is also moving ahead day by day. May it be Olympic records, maybe anywhere we are setting or people are setting new and new examples. So it is not something static. Every day things are changing. Basically, it means a qualitative defined against set of some values and outcomes. Value system institutions strive to achieve. We all institutions abroad, worldwide, have some vision, mission statements and provide a platform claiming that they are qualitative in imparting excellent education. So excellence, how it comes and how we achieve. Excellence is achieved by becoming more knowledgeable then trying to know what is the benchmarking next level we need to go. And it is, according to me, an online, online, ongoing process. Never ending process, because what is today changes tomorrow. Every second things are changing. And we need to become excellent researchers, excellent communicators to get excellence in education. Now, to achieve this milestone, excellence, there are so many challenges in education. Information technology is changing fantastically. Even today, when we are talking on virtual platform, it is by virtue of the difficulties or challenges we have faced in the past. So it is the difficulties, the problems, which are also enlightening the way and showing us how to move this journey to reach to the excellence. So the point I want to state is, if we need to achieve this excellence, how it is possible? How do we retain students in classrooms for real life learning? Because today on this platform, I'm sharing with you this presentation, had I been there in person, things probably would have been different. So when all students can today learn or get education through internet, then why it is so significant that there is a need for classroom sessions? Because real life learning is altogether different. To have practical knowledge of the subjects, it is imperative to develop social skills. We may have very good state-of-the-art equipments, state-of-the-art defense equipments, but it is by virtue of the social skills, the behavioral skills of the people who will operate these equipments, who will operate this machinery. So impart these values, to impart these values effectively, human interaction, according to me, is very, very important. We cannot teach robots like all the time. We cannot teach swimming or cycling through online classes. But as and how we are coping with the even difficult times, there are opportunities in this platform also. So we have to constantly think about the changes rapidly taking place 
and fulfilling the needs and expectations of the society. That is, according to me, is the best definition I like for excellence. Whether institution is really fulfilling the needs and expectations of the society, the students, the people all around, all stakeholders, the country and above all the world at large. And what we are teaching in our colleges or universities is a matter of constant research, never ending practice. So today on faculty, on all you eminent professors, associate professors, our responsibility together does not end by completing our present curriculum. We have to think about various different methodologies and projects relevant to the education for today's changing world. Nobody could imagine before 30 years what will be the face of the world when we will be having all computer education. Without this internet and computers, nothing will be possible. So it is constant effort, innovate research in this direction that everything is now practically feasible, what was really difficult. So nowadays, there is no course or no subject is complete without these computers, this knowledge. So if we see the background, what happens behind the uh, sessions, behind the lecture rooms, there are some common voices of the people at work, voices of teaching faculties, principals, executives all over the world, listen to these voices. Like, for example, I am stuck in a rut. No one really values or appreciates me. My boss doesn't have a clue of all I am capable of. I am sick of it. I am sick of all backbiting politics and so on. So, away from the classrooms, I have seen people talking like this also. So, there is importance of values system. In educational institutions, we are responsible for the development of thousands of students. So, when we have such a great responsibility, holding the steering in our hands, it obviously becomes very important that we first analyze ourselves. Self-development first is the hub, starting point for all development for students. And self-assessment is the key. If I know what subject I'm teaching, where you subject pe kitni pakar hai, in-depth knowledge kitni hai, where I am lacking, and once I develop myself on those weak areas, I convert that weakness into strength, definitely I can produce far better students. Because of my ability, enhanced by way of self-evaluation. We have to think that pessimistic, pessimist complains about the wind, the optimistic expect it to change and the leader adjust the sails. So this is significant that leadership plays a vital role. Leadership is never about a role. It's not about position, it's all about achieving the goal. And leadership is not a position, it's an action, never a position. Anybody could be a leader, even a child could be a leader. So there are many more challenges which we are talking today, where we stand today, and it's not easy or one or any two persons to think about the solutions. But we have to definitely meet these challenges. So we need to constantly introspect to cope with the new challenges every day. So the true leader will always exchange ideas, multiply the knowledge by sharing with team members, 
and that will happen by virtue of brainstorming which we all know so dear friends it's not easy for just one or two persons to think of the solutions because of the so many variable factors we need to do it by way of joint efforts all people sharing and coming out with different ideas and then those ideas building teams and we need to develop the leadership in as many people as possible in these modern difficult days we need the capacity to produce more for less lean management it's based on unleashing the human potential not just having people at the top making all the important decisions gone are those days so we need to contribute we need to engage ourselves each and every citizen in the institute his name yes sir yeah excuse me some yes am i audible now yes yes sir you are audible yeah so if it is the leadership who is having the steering in hand then basically the relevance the real relevance for excellence that leaders can change the scenario so leader is a person who influences group of people towards achievement of the institutional or organizational goals so neta shabd sanskrit ki neet dhatu se bana hai jiska arth hai le jana arthat jo aage le jata hai wahi leader hai the gentleman the fellow who leads that's the leader so if your actions inspire others to dream more learn more do more and become more you are a leader so a leader essentially need to be needs to be a manager also because when the manager will tell do it the leader will tell let's do it so he is with the team he will show the direction influences alignments motivation inspiration which plays a very significant role in achieving any objective today so now let us enjoy this video although you are all familiar So your screen is seen. not visible. Screen is not shared. We can't hear you, sir. Okay. So hearing problem. can't see me so you are audible and i can see you but your screen is not visible to me right now clearly audible though you can hear sir no problem we can hear but screen yes. is not audible
You can see this? Yes, yes please. Sorry. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's uh, let's see this video first. I can see the screen, but the not the birds. Pardon? I am not able to hear anything. Video is available, not mm -hmm. the audio. Okay. So you are okay. Sorry for the yes, interruption. Sir. Yeah. Anyway, as you have very rightly told, you have already seen this video. Yes, it is worth taking some lessons from this video. That is why I took it. So, according to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the leader should have a vision and clear thinking, ability to travel to unknown paths, trying to find out new ways to solve the problems, and then should show how to manage failure. This is very important, how we manage failure. Anybody, because fail is failure in first attempt. So failure is giving us a lot of lessons and becoming uh, knowledgeable. So should give the credit to success to the team. That's what is the leader. And he should have courage to take decisions and mobility in management, transparency, integrity, that you all know and you have already, somebody has shown it also. But we add a few more to this list. Basically, the prime trait is to identify what are the talents required in others, thinking of others, what they must have. So a leader can see something which others are not in a position to find out. So by and large, it connects with the people, the situations, real life situations. And then he will take all initiatives and provide opportunities, trusting his team members and appreciating them in public. That's what you have seen in this video also, that how Dr. Abdul, APJ Abdul Kalam was appreciated in public by Satish Dhawan. So there are different types of leaders. You have already gone through all these things, but uh, Paul Herse and Kenneth, they have described these leadership styles by way of telling, selling, participative, and delegating. The prime objective is by viewing this or by showing to you this four styles of leadership, that situational leadership is emerging the best in present challenging times. Jaisi situation ho, us type ki leadership mein, usi mode mein hume function karna hai. Because the purpose is to get the job done, done by leading the team, by keeping their morale high. So, how it is important then that in which mode the follower is, that is very important whether we should delegate or we should participate or it should be selling or telling. So which mode we should act depends on the follower. So here is one table and we have one 12 situations also. I can send it to Dr. Vikas Garg. One can easily find out what type of leader he is. And then accordingly, what in what situation 
what mode of leadership should be adopted so that the task gets completed as per the set intended results. So here the followers. Followers will have high ability or low ability also in terms of ability, and they will have willingness also either low or high. So in case if there is high ability and low willingness, we can probably participate. Parti participative type of leadership would best fit in this type of scenario. And second situation where somebody is possessing high ability and high willingness, yes, we can delegate. So depending upon what situation, which position the follower is, if he is some new joining, things will be different. If it's very experienced and high ability, high willingness, things are different, we can delegate. And in this way, selling and telling mode also, if there is a low ability and low willingness, then it is selling mode. And this is telling mode when there is a low ability and high willingness. So all these presentation, 12 scenarios, and what type of leader we are, just a self-assessment sheet. I will be sending 12 situations to Dr. Vikas Garg, and all of us can do this exercise, what type of leader we are. Because in which situation, in these 12 situations, there are four options. Which option we will take instantaneously, if we are in that situation, you can do this exercise. I hope you will enjoy that also. If you have done already, no issue on that. So this best fit, so delegation, participative selling and telling, as I was telling, I will be sending to you this 12 scenarios, situations where you can do self-assessment. Now, dear friends, we know this Maji, Dashrat Maji, best example of leadership. One man working tirelessly for 22 years, 22 feet by 30 feet by 365 feet mountain, he makes a way through this mountain. So this is an example, exemplary work accomplished by one man. And once people have the will to do, nothing can stop them. We have to be leaders like this, changing the scenario, thinking something innovative, new, which people feel is impossible, we can do that. The will to do, the perseverance, dharya, himmat, aage badha sakti hai. Is samay, sarvo pari hai ye, desh ki shakti ko sashakt banane ke. So challenges ahead if we talk about. Today, if we talk of demand and supply, so many institutions, so many students passing out year on year, then do we have those jobs readily available for them? The answer is no. So if there is a placement service and the multinational company or any other institution visit to the institution for selection, only 90% above or 80% above students are taken, then where will rest of the students go? So the real challenge is that we must have one finger, one hand has five fingers. Everybody cannot be employment seeker. Everybody cannot be employment generator also, but we need a mix of everything. Means the point I want to raise here is that we should inculcate being leaders something, some inputs that our students should become employment generators, creators also. And in India today, there are ample opportunities if somebody wants to start new business, new entrepreneur, new entrepreneurship. That is something which really solve the problem. So there are environmental issues. Even in our offices, in institutes, we use paper, we use, we, do we shred them? We generate waste. Where does this waste go? Are we real environment friendly? Dear friends, I state one example. I was in Poland. I had gone to the mountains and there with my friend and his 
daughter up on hills 10 12 kilometers we have shared some bananas there so that when we will go at the hilltop we will share some fruit which we had in our bag so this gentleman this friend of mine while coming back we have taken bananas and he kept this banana leaf in his hand i tell him three four times edward please in jungle stones rocks trees nobody there but he didn't throw it we come midway and he has thrown this leaf banana leaf in the green basket respect to the system i can never forget this this is the value system which should come right from childhood and then i have not seen even a single mosquito so what to talk of disease malaria or whatever so if we have very good system foundation value system things will improve fantastically so environmental issues are there and we must be providing education also to our students as far as environmental issues are concerned but here i want to say that each and everybody can contribute in this to solve this problem doing abc analysis what are the problems key issues and then what are the action plans and making our objectives like that waste management health hygiene cost of poor quality cultural change all together there is a cultural change so that the students who pass out from the institute they go in the right direction the foundation the cultural change should take place so the road towards excellence for students especially for students to be inherited by the steering members the professors the teaching faculty instead of all degrees people have hardly seen my 10 12 15 degrees believe me initially one two years okay but later on nobody has checked so i would advise the students choose your platform that instead of getting or thinking of degree only they should acquire what is hidden embedded embedded in that degree that's the knowledge they must have the requisite knowledge nobody will reject them if they have the real knowledge and then everybody must have skill i have seen electrical engineers and if there is fan not working he will take it he will call the electrician for repairs so there is a total mismatch i am not telling that he should repair this fan but at least he should have the ability at what is, has gone wrong so skill development is something very important area and i believe all institutions should have workshops for skill development where students should undertake project accomplishment of that project should enhance their skill level any skill which is close to their heart and which fulfills the needs and expectations of the local industrial belt for that what is their requirement in local industrial belt local for vocal when we talk of so if we have licensing with them meetings with them and sort of objective action points worked out with them at fixed frequency we can know what is their need and expectation as short term and long term perspective accordingly how institutions can fulfill that requirement once we know their requirement we will try to provide those skills inherit those qualities in our students and it will be a gel well situation that they can be absorbed in local industry so to my all students my advice to them that instead of increasing number of followers on all internet instagram there should be increase of real good friends not followers because friends only will stay with us in difficult times friends only will enrich our knowledge by sharing examples so we should think of experiences not rewards experiences as uh, dashrath has done that such like experiences challenging meeting those challenges taking up those projects and fulfilling them so this is very important thing that 
we must have some purpose not position not power but purpose of life so once students add these value systems in their life things will improve fantastically and continuity with patience ek pani ki boond agar kisi chattan pe patthar pe girti rehti hai tak 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 athak prayas dhairya aur continuity ke sath to wo patthar bhi do tukdo mein ho jata hai to agar hamare students bhi jis disha ko soch le usme puri tarah se prayas kare difficulties jo bhi aaye unka nidan kare difficulties means solutions opportunities but in different clothes and that will all depend on the value system we inherit with them so if we need to progress if we need to move towards achievements excellence then what is the way out because teaching is a profession which create all the professions any business is worldwide it is by virtue of the outcomes of institutions the teaching imparted to the students and then whether they become businessmen multimillionaires or any field they are may it be defense any any sector they go any industries but it's all because of this profession only such a noble profession creating all professions so it starts unnati chakra so first of all starts with jankari when all these professions are by virtue of teaching then teaching starts with by way of information jankari which gets converted into analysis and then knowledge so information collected collected on analysis is knowledge and knowledge needs to be implemented acquired knowledge when implemented it is beneficial and once it is beneficial definitely we'll be doing it over and again and this cycle unlike any process cycle input and output it is unlike that so it is continuing ongoing always because what we do what we know today there are so many other areas which we need to check and know about it so this journey throughout the life continues and this is by virtue of more and more innovatives ideas by way of jankari so there are some leaders as a position and some leaders as a choice now leader as a choice moral authority right makes might so let us notice the contrast between these two positions might makes right and right makes might loyalty above integrity integrity is loyal the wrong is getting caught the wrong is in doing wrong so image is everything so to be rather than to be seen so that is what is very important and once our background improves our foreground will automatically improve isiliye ye pad se nahi balki gunon se nirtitva karna hai तो सफलता की पहली कुंजी है क्यूरियोसिटी टू नो मोर टू नो अनो वट इज अनोन टूडे एंड सेकेंड थिंग परसवियरेंस धैर्य तो सबसे बड़ा उदाहरण हमारे सामने जो हम बचपन में भी पंचतंत्र की कहानियां रामायण या महाभारत पढ़ते आए उन सब से अगर हम सीख लें तो श्री राम जी का उदाहरण हमारे सामने है कि उन्होंने किस तरह से धैर्य में हर परिस्थिति में शांति रखते हुए प्रसन्नता से मुसीबत को डिफिकल्टीज को गले लगाया और किस तरह से रिस्क्स को अपॉर्चुनिटीज में कन्वर्ट किया वनवास मिलने पर भी दुखी नहीं हुए और वो समान भाव से अच्छे भाव से आगे बढ़ गए तो गीता में भी यही चीज कही गई है सुख दुखे समय कृपा लाभ हो लाभ हो जाया जाया सो फ्रेंड्स एज ट्रू लीडर्स वी हैव टू लर्न टू टेक द फेल्योर एंड सक्सेस in a balanced way which precisely abdul kalam saab also has advocated this on the in this video which i was trying to show now we will talk about team work as we know together everybody achieves more and what is team work very famous quotation henry ford 
that teamwork is nothing but coming together is the beginning and keeping together is progress but working together is success very meaningful that when we want success we need to work together if we see the reverse in the reverse way and if we need to work together then keeping together is very important and if we are keeping together coming together is the big so we need teamwork kyunki akela chana bhar nahi ho sakta any team anywhere we go it's all joint effort that the team wins so today there are many innovations happening in education sector because many people are working in this area not just because of one or two persons every human being has a limit to his creativity then what we need to do we need to combine or integrate our all efforts together by way of picking up any topic doing brainstorming collecting all the ideas working on workable solution with the timelines and then enjoying the results success we get more ideas when we have more people in the team so we move ahead and succeed by working in team we have such good examples of team work in our epics and mythology also team work of pandava is known to each and everybody which we appreciate so many different talents and then how they come together under one umbrella dhishtar dhar raj hai nyay priya hai unka kaushal hai bhala chalana bhim gada chalane mein sak kushal hai arjun shresth dhanush dhari hai उनके सामने कोई टिक भी नहीं सकता नकुल और सहदेव चलवा तलवार चलाने में निपुण है सभी को उनके गुणों के हिसाब से काम दिया जाता है एंड सो आर आवर स्टूडेंट्स एवरीबडी हैविंग डिफरेंट टैलेंट एंड युधिष्ठर भी अर्जुन नकुल सहदेव दे आर ऑल हाईली कमिटेड टू देयर गोल्स दे स्टैंड बाय ईच अदर एंड विन अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ श्री कृष्ण वो इनके मार्गदर्शक हैं वही प्रेरणा देते हैं सो बीइंग विजनरी ए बैलेंस थिंकर मींस ए ट्रू लीडर और जो ट्रू लीडर ने कहा वो आपसे छुपा नहीं है कर्मण्यवाधिकार रस्ते कि हमें अपने काम को ही करते जाना है और फल की चिंता नहीं करनी सो एवरीवन वांट्स टू प्रूव दैट ही और शी हैज टैलेंट हर स्टूडेंट ये मौके की तलाश में होता है कि सर भी उसको कोई मौका दें सो दैट ही कैन शो हिज और हर टैलेंट जस्ट गिव देम रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड ट्रस्ट देम दे विल वर्क सो हार्ड टू प्रूव दम लगा देंगे एंड दे विल गेट द सक्सेस आइडिया इज टू टेक देम अलॉन्ग अल्टीमेटली इट्स द इंस्टीट्यूशन विच गेट्स बेनिफिटेड एंड द फैकल्टी इज लर्निंग हैप्पी so there is one clipping here let us see this
So, although you might have seen this, these things are available on Google platform, but there is a great learning that we have different kinds of people. Somebody, some people will even try to spoil the game, but we need to be hard but humane, taking the needful necessary action at all times. That's the job of the leader. And why people will join the team? Because everybody wants security, status, self-esteem. Everybody wants to prove his image, affiliation, power, and goal achievement. So this is what it is. There will be undoubtedly conflicts also, problems also, but strategically, uh, we can set the direction and eliminate all problems. As you are already very well knowledgeable about this, that how to build teams, nothing new, that it starts with forming, how we form the teams, and then storming, brainstorming. We can collect any problems we have today in the institution. We can take the students in group and we can do the brainstorming. We can collect all those ideas. We can jot down and then we can, uh, on setting all these action plan, what needs to be done first, we can make the action plan, prioritize, and then by way of implementing at stage four, implementation is very important. Otherwise, dream remains dream. And once implemented, fruit is bound to come, success is bound to come. And if at all, there comes problems, problems will give us a lot of lessons how to do next time. Because President of America telling that we, we want to be the first to land on moon and then consecutive three failures, one after the others. And it was the mission ninth success that Neil Armstrong lands on the moon. So ultimately, by way of constant efforts, perseverance, setting the target and trying to achieve makes some day sooner or later, we definitely succeed. So this is, there are so many examples as we have talked about Dashrat Maji, how he has converted this mountain and make the road based on the problem faced by him. So why do teams work and do not work? There are do's and don'ts, of course. Because if we have a tool, then its input will be wrong, then output will be wrong. Garbage in, garbage out. So, if we tool sahi lagayenge, to uske parinam bhi sahi niklenge. So, this is what it is that we all need to be taking people all along, resolving problems on day-to-day -day basis, basis, meeting challenges, and moving towards the success. A pilot also will set his direction first, and then speed. Increase or decrease, retardation, acceleration, he can do later on. So we need to set our direction and then trying to achieve that, accomplish that goal. So encouraging participation in that process. So this is one pride principles that when we form or work in a team, this pride is very important. Purpose, we have a joint common goal, common purpose respect for each and every brother, each, each and every individual, and all people respecting the difference which enhances creativity, coming out with innovative ideas, and thinking about that, discussing about the solutions with open heart, and then implementing that for achieving excellence. The team should strive for excellence. So a true leader sees possibility in Adversity. Adversities, problems, difficulties do come. Raja Ram bhi jab Ayodhya mein the, to Raja Ram hi kehlaaye, aur jab one mein gaye to sangharsh kiya. Sangharsh kiya, to Maryada Purushottam Ram kehlaaye. Bhagwan Ram kehlaaye. So it is the sangharsh, struggle, the problems we face in our life that we become from ordinary to extraordinary.
yes please so this was all about excellence in education education excellence and what is the role of leadership and teamwork to overcome these challenges yes please any 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 questions dear friends i was in libya way back in 2011 jo abhi afghanistan mein sthiti hai same situation thi ab to internet bhi bahut hai news channels bhi bahut hain aur tab hum bahut dikkat mein the i was project manager there i was heading engineering department so about 1000 people in the camp all around gunshots violence but not so air strikes were there people wanted to come back home as soon as possible we will write we were writing sending mails telephones to our company but our indian government at that time there was a lot of time being taken all other countries they have evacuated with their people and we were stuck it was a very dangerous situation and how things change by way of taking team together i cannot forget the cooperation of my son in london and my wife in india how they have contributed my daughter my family basically they stood by me in that difficult times went to ndtv news was flashed i have that video clipping with me and when there was a lottery system that who should go first who should go later in the camp there in libya my number was 6 means i should have flown back home the very next day in next flight only but if i was moving out although it was very important and necessary for me to come back home because of my personal situations domestic problems but the thought behind this was if i go what will happen to my team how they will come back because they were all looking towards me so i stayed back i was the last to come in the last batch only and this evacuation process today all those people stay connected with me i get their regular mails and so many feedbacks and they are working in various nice good organizations so this is the strength of working or taking the people along that together we succeed and we become sashakt wo jo shakti ka abhas hai wo jo prasannata hai jo hame dukh se sukh mein le jati hai wo kshan wo zindagi mein kabhi bhul nahi sakta aur in our day to day life there are so many things which keep happening but in that situation how we react how we take action that speaks everything so how we lose the game basically shows something of it but how we win shows everything of us but idea is to demonstrate that in that time of difficulty which is not easy but it can be done agar dil dimag ne ye soch liya karna hai to haath apne aap uth jate hain yes sir sir can Any you compare the evoc- can you compare the evocation of uh, uh policy uh, uh, abhi ko hua na uh, uske sath abhi jo afghanistan mein afghanistan na afghanistan se aap libya mein the 2011 mein ji aur abhi success ho gaya uh, sabko evacuate kar diya afghanistan mein aap compare kar sakte hain ji 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 ye jo 2011 mein shuruaat hui thi evacuation ki जो 2011 में शुरुआत हुई थी इवेक्युएशन की उस समय इतने चैनल्स इतना इंटरनेट इतनी सारे माध्यम नहीं थे टाइम चेंज था आज हर चीज अवेलेबल है आज प्रोवेक्टिव एक्शंस लेने में ज्यादा गवर्नमेंट इफेक्टिव हो गई है बट इफ यू बिलीव इफ यू रियली वांट टू नो दैट वाज 2011 दिस लिबिया इवेक्युएशन दैट आफ्टर दैट 
things improved fantastically in India also. Today, the scenario is totally different. And we have evacuated also people, you know, because channels, people, availability is all available. More media is available to us for help. Yes, please. Hello, sir. Myself, yes. Chandrasekhar, speaking to you. I work yes, in uh, Libya in 2007, sir. Uh, okay. During the Colonel Gaddafi's uh, presidentship, it was all Wonderful. peace and uh, tranquility, and we were, had uh, no problem because all Indian professors working in uh, medical colleges and uh, universities, they had a pleasant life. But after dethroning, there was a, a chaotic situation and uh, everything was turmoil. And uh, that had led to a kind of uh, uh, problems for Indian uh, scholar teachers and they really struggled. And I really, when I hear you and I remember and I recall those days, they were really good. They were, the Libyans were very good and Libyan government was good and respecting Indian uh, professionals, especially uh, teachers, doctors, engineers. But uh, after his uh, dethronement, there was a chaotic situation, sir. Thank God that you have come out successfully and yes. uh, thank God that uh, has given you strength to face the crisis. I can imagine the kind of uh, trauma you faced and uh, your family members and uh, your friends faced it. And really, we had a hot up to you and the kind of struggle you had done it. It's a really great... Uh, 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 Professor Chandrasekhar Rao, sir, I fully yeah. agree with you. Yeah, such yeah. a beautiful yeah. land, such a beautiful country, and yeah. so many opportunities. Yes, and sir. Uh, people so good. Even my family has visited, visited me there. They were very, yeah. very happy. That was a very good time. And yes, now, sir. after that debacle, things yeah. are totally, I mean, even not politically stabilized country, yeah. even till date. Yes. Yes, sir. So many opportunities lost unnecessarily, which yeah. should not have happened. But yeah. anyway, so that shows that what I was telling, dear friend, that situational yeah. leadership is the best. Now, to be democrat, to be participative, to be, you know, aristocratic or uh, you can say dictatorship. So all these different styles of leadership give different results. So what is the best then? What is we have talked about it? that situational leadership is the best. And that depending upon the followers, which of course needs to inherit. This implementation is difficult hai, in certain situations. But once we experience, we implement, and we get success, one success gives successive successes. It starts with another success. So it is like that, and the journey goes on. Yes, please. I have finished my presentation before time so that we can share our experiences. Sir, uh, one and we can draw some we can draw some conclusions because yeah. I don't know what has gone before my presentation. Yeah. It was more or less nothing new. All things are known to you, intelligent intelligent people. Yeah. So the idea was to share what I know. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes. Sir, I think the people of the any land, any country, are to decide what kind of leadership they want to have it. At times uh, they change, and the change is for good. Sometimes it brings a uh, uh, crisis. But crisis management should be a part of uh, engineering education. And uh, I feel it. Uh, this is uh, very much essential because uh, in the life of uh, an engineer. He must be ready uh, for any kind of eventuality and how to get over. The best example yeah. is uh, whenever uh, the natural calamities occur, engineers are in the forefront to save the lives of the people suffering and uh, at all times. Uh, the same spirit should be taught in the uh, engineering colleges. It should be part of it. And another thing is environmental consciousness and uh, uh, working for the peace and tranquility. And uh, uh, I would like to say, uh, enrichment of nature. That is where we must not move away from the nature. That, what is the problem now? Technology is taking away sometimes away from the nature and uh, uh, trying to have a kind of conflict with the nature. 
and uh, overpowering the nature and it is going to have disastrous effects because nature is mother nature is mother and the mother takes care of the children and in an ecosystem uh, man is a part of an ecosystem and uh, he must not forget it and he must not manipulate and exploit the nature naturally it is going to give us a dramatic uh, experiences like floods earthquakes and all natural calamities man is insignificant before the power of nature this she must the every engineer should realize this i think that is a kind of thing that i feel it sir very right very i fully agree with you sir. i fully agree with you mera ek kehna hai ki hum jaise institution mein hamara waste management kya hai where our waste paper go where our garbage is going where dry leaves are going rain water harvesting so if we inculcate such things if we are doing it already that's well and good then it will change the total mindset of the students who will pass out they would be more environment friendly they will think in terms of how to save nature how to have solutions innovative solutions for these problems like these ppes these masks biomedical wastes how much waste we are generating the plastics what are we using can we have conversion different type of products or we can thrust our suppliers to supply us environment friendly products we should encourage all these things in our day to day life and each and every individual matters in that respect some of the organizations they will only accept a material from the supplier once he is sending the vehicle which is in good condition pollution free puc done only then he will supply the material to the business so like that if we just think within our system there will be so many things which we can practice in our institutions also like i was telling what are the needs and expectations of the local industry unko kis skill ke bande kab chahiye honge kitne chahiye honge usi hisab se unki zarurat ko samajhte hue हम अपने इंस्टीट्यूशन से उसको सप्लाई जो करना है वो डिमांड को मीट कर सकते हैं और उसी तरह से अपने उद्योग में अपने इंस्टीट्यूशन में उन स्किल्स को डेवलप कर सकते हैं मे बी दैट द इंडस्ट्री लोकल इंडस्ट्री वांट्स वेरी गुड एयर कंडीशनिंग रेफ्रिजरेशन मैकेनिक्स और इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर्स और डिजाइनर्स और फैशन डिजाइनर्स वी कैन chell well in the sense we can integrate we can meet them occasionally and we can chalk out some objectives action plan how we want to go ahead in meeting these targets so that these things are fulfilled when they will employ local people transportation cost rentals all these things you know they will minimize and it will be a very comfort for the new beginner students who will be joining the career right from the beginning at lesser cost they can get the benefit our drainage system our our total hygiene all these things are the challenges in institutions in industries all around us the moment we move, we move out of our you know the meeting rooms things are totally different this uh, workplace management administration culture all these things how i am working what type of waste i am generating i should become quality conscious and environment friendly using all those products which are not having adverse effect i have not seen any people i have not seen people as you know today in each and every family somebody is abroad in my 10 years tenure also i have not seen people throwing papers or any rubbish things on the road or anywhere there in in some lanes so that's the culture that's the 
value system we should inherit in this new generation in our students. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for uh, enlightening us on the areas of uh, hygiene, health, and uh, consciousness. The, it should start from the college till yes. rather to the industry and society. That's good. It should be put into the system, and thereby the system has to change, the mindset has to change, and we have to treat them. We have to give the training to them when they are young, mold them when they are young. They have got the capacity to change the world. So they are change makers. The change makers they should be the leaders to have a vision and observation, and then implement the things in a in a manner that it is effective and uh, the aim at the sustainable development. Very, very true. Here I would like to state example of Keat University, Dr. Samantha, Dr. Achyut Samantha. There are 27,000 students. They will sew their own uniform. They will make their own water, RO water. They will manufacture their own bottles, recycle them. They will produce their own electricity, solar energy. So the value system, the students, they are getting, you know, and when they pass out, they go out of this institute, definitely these value system, these things they will never forget in their life. They will also try to give these things to others, not to throw rubbish anywhere and use only products which are environment friendly. So all these things and skills, May it be painting, may it be dancing, may it be singing, may it be any pictorial work or writing work. Each and every student must be having some skill so that these skills are met with the requirements of the industries. Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. It's 3.15 now. My time was up to 4 o'clock, I believe. Any other? Please ask. Yeah, any other questions? Let us discuss. Please discuss. How were the sessions? What were the learnings? Conclusions? Please share your views. It's a last session. <laughs> so you can share. It was a very good, wonderful session. What was the net result, dear friends? What Please. do we achieve? What direction we take now when it comes yes. to Somebody leadership come. and teamwork for education excellence? Can we note down those all points and then chuck out some action plan within timelines that how we will be meeting those challenges and trying to fulfill those requirements means sir someone asked, work yeah yes please someone asked question how you feel in india rather in abroad what is your feeling in india the rather kind in of the kind of freedom in india is nowhere else every country has rules which people follow we are very responsible when we are abroad. But unfortunately, we misuse also this freedom when we are back home. I'm not generalizing it. I'm not generalizing it. There are all examples of variety of examples are there. But the kind of freedom we enjoy here, we sometimes misuse it. As a responsible citizen, we should think what I am going to give back to my society, back to my country. That's what change is required. Sir, how, and, gradu how? and gradually things are taking shape, but it is a slow process. Sir, ethics is a major issue nowadays. And how to uh, teachers can regularly incorporate it into their daily life, teaching to so that the students under them will be uh, having a good ethics. 
right sir very good question what i feel the secret behind all these problems and many such like problems which are essentially required for social change cultural change we need to work as a team and brainstorm collect so many different ideas and then once that list is prepared then starts our action plan what to do and when which way to do and how to do which is cost effective solution which is environment friendly solution which way to go about it let there be variety of answers through brainstorming sessions different ideas so idea is things will come only by way of collection of variety of ideas then we can scrutinize and make it the way we want sir one more uh... now now let us say for example reading habits have changed today what we it used to be and what it is today things have changed so reading is a very good habit one must read good books so that thing should be inherited in today's generation unfortunately during covid times this online classes and everything all together new dimensions added yes opportunity is also there but we must stay connected with the books and books never deceive us as we all know so shift is required towards reading of more and more books also inculcating this and that will generate new ideas good ideas fertile brain you know change over uh, one more sir now it is uh, the persons doesn't have patience we regularly hear for a small incident there are various high level of act so how to incorporate that uh, patience in our teaching curriculum आपका इसके बारे में क्या विचार है आज है तो सर खराब भी आज की डेट में अगर हम नॉर्मल भी बात करते हैं तो पेशेंस तो आज की डेट में रहा ही नहीं सर चाहे हम फैमिली पार्ट पे ले ले चाहे हम वर्किंग पार्ट पे ले ले या डे टू डे लाइफ में भी ले ले यस इट इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम यू आर वेरी राइट आई फुली एग्री विद यू एज फार एज द प्रॉब्लम इज कंसर्न लेकिन मेरा यहां भी वही सोचना है कि इसका समाधान अब जैसे हम अभी इस प्लेटफॉर्म के ऊपर जितने भी लोग हैं प्रैक्टिकली हम सभी एक एक आइडिया दें अगर इसी चीज के ऊपर कि ये धैर्य क्यों नहीं है क्यों खोता जा रहा है तो हमारे पास 40-50 आइडियाज इकट्ठे हो सकते so this is what is required joint effort idea hi ped banega idea se hi phal niklega kya hum sabhi mahanubhav is samay isi cheez ke upar dhairya ke upar sab ek ek point de sakte hain i invite all intelligentsia all you eminent people knowledgeable people to come out with one single idea so that we collect 40 50 60 ideas and that can approve the problem by way of proper analysis and interpreting sir one uh, not related to this uh, we have a dilemma situation 
one side is the technical knowledge and second side is the skill knowledge or which can be soft skill knowledge so there is a dilemma that we will focus on technical education part or we will focus on skill soft skill part so there is always a conflict between these two so when we teach technical knowledge there are companies which are coming and not evaluating their technical knowledge and they will be only evaluating soft skills but if they want to be successful in their life they must be having a good technical knowledge also so how to balance these two soft skills ke liye to sir time to time training minds can be trained soft skills ke bina to hum outdated hain aur aane wala samay bhi agar hum uske bare mein apne apne tarah se kalpana kare soche ek visionary ke liye time is going to change fantastically more and more skills soft skills so to say अब हम आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस की बात करते हैं इवन आजकल के जमाने में जो ट्रांसपोर्टेशन जो जैम लगे हुए हैं या जो इक्विपमेंट्स की व्हीकल्स की फुल ऑफ रोड्स मींस रोड्स आर फुल ऑफ ट्रैफिक अब डिलीवरी भी ड्रोन से होने लगेंगे क्या वो कमर्शियल या पर्सनल आपको घर पे भी सामान मंगवाना है तो शायद वो भी ड्रोन से आने लगेगा सॉफ्ट स्किल्स उसके लिए पॉलिसीज फ्रेमवर्क उसके लिए रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस उसकी अपकीप उसकी मेंटेनेंस सो मेनी थिंग्स नो सर आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट सॉफ्ट स्किल आई एम एप्टीट्यूड कम्युनिकेशन या 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 आई एम कमिंग टू दैट यस सो अकॉर्डिंगली ऑलवेज मींस अबाउट कम्युनिकेशन टीम वर्क टीम बिल्डिंग देयर आर सो मेनी वर्कशॉप्स अवेलेबल और वो टाइम टू टाइम पे होती रहनी चाहिए मेरे हिसाब से सिर्फ टेक्निकल नॉलेज को बढ़ाना सीमित करेगा अपॉर्चुनिटीज को अगर सॉफ्ट स्किल्स नहीं है उसके लिए जो आपके प्लेटफॉर्म से भी ये टीम वर्क टीम बिल्डिंग स्टूडेंट्स के लिए भी इन्हीं मॉड्यूल्स के ऊपर बेसिकली कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन टीम बिल्डिंग टीम इसके लिए कई सारे गेम्स कई सारे ऐसे मॉड्यूल्स हैं जो कि टाइम टू टाइम होते रहने चाहिए सो इट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल इन टर्म्स ऑफ सॉफ्ट स्किल्स पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट कम्युनिकेशन एथिक्स इन सब के ऊपर डिफरेंट वर्कशॉप टाइम टू टाइम होते रहनी चाहिए टू बी ओनली टेक्निकली कॉम्पिटेंट इज नॉट द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ फ्यूचर एक और सर when we talk about companies they are asking for communication and mainly when we talk about communication it is english communication and nowadays we are uh, saying that we will be teaching in uh, mother tongue hindi and telugu and that and when they will be going in the market how they will be surviving or how they will compete यस yes. इसके लिए तो इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज को तो सीखना पड़ेगा क्योंकि ग्लोबल है सारे कंट्रीज में है एट द सेम टाइम हिंदी को भी या दूसरी रीजनल लैंग्वेजेस को भी डिस्कार्ड तो नहीं किया जा सकता पर यह भी एक स्किल है कि अच्छी इंग्लिश का होना बहुत जरूरी है yes, और प्रैक्टिकली जब हमारे पास कोई भी इंजीनियर या मैनेजर कोई भी जॉब के लिए आता है और अगर वो अच्छी तरह से कम्युनिकेट नहीं कर पा रहा ईमेल में या काफी ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक्स हैं या अच्छी वोकेबलरी नहीं है तो वी वी रियली डोंट लाइक इट यस सर आउट राइट आउट राइट वी रिजेक्ट यार ये क्या लिख के लाए हो क्या है ये व्हाट इज दिस मेल टेक इट बैक सो इट डेफिनेटली नीड्स फ्लुएंसी इन इंग्लिश कम्युनिकेशन लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश में पकड़ अच्छी होनी चाहिए अभी देखिए आपके सामने मैं चाहे हिंदी में भी बोल रहा हूँ इंग्लिश में भी बोल रहा हूँ पर ये जो प्रोफिशिएंसी है होनी तो दोनों लैंग्वेजेस में चाहिए रीजनल में भी और इंग्लिश में भी 
नहीं सर जनरली जब हम इंग्लिश पढ़ते थे तो यही कहा जाता था कि इंडियंस की मेजर प्रॉब्लम है वो सोचते हिंदी में और जवाब इंग्लिश में देना पड़ता है तो अगर हम उनको पूरा ही सोचना और जवाब भी हिंदी में देना सिखा देंगे तो देन हाउ वे दे विल बी बिकम कॉम्पिटेंट इन इंग्लिश एंड बिकॉज इन दे आर लर्निंग फोर ईयर्स इन हिंदी and then to communicate in english that will become a major challenge for them yes likewise sir jo main baat kar raha tha actually dekha jaye truly speaking there is a need for every individual to do introspection spot analysis what is my strength and what is my weakness and then working on my weaknesses to convert into strengths सो so, हर स्टूडेंट की भी ये जिम्मेदारी बनती है कि कल को जब मैं मार्केट में जाऊंगा इंस्टीट्यूशन से बाहर जाऊंगा मैं अपना भी जो वहाँ जहाँ मैं वीक हूँ उसको मैं सही करूँ उसके लिए उसको इंग्लिश की कम्युनिकेशन ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग कुछ भी जरूर करना पड़े कुछ ना कुछ एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट लगाने से ही उसका सीनैरियो चेंज हो अदरवाइज ही विल बी ऑल्सो हैविंग लिमिटेड स्कोप ऑफ engagement in industry if at all it happens it may be short lived also so to increase or enhance the chances and staying fit in the industry he will have also to do his own assessment assessment for development and only by way of looking within he can find his own way and when we look within the reading is always 100% correct yes it is very difficult to evaluate or to do self assessment to pass out judgment about others is far more easier than self analysis that is what it is but development self development can be achieved by students only by way of self assessment self evaluation self develop and converting weaknesses into strengths sirf ek pradhyapak ya adhyapak ya teacher professor wo sab nahi kar payega because he has a lot more responsibilities to perform in day to day life so we should encourage them to find out and do their own swot analysis so that when they are out they are successful thank you sir if any participant have any more questions they can ask hello sir myself chandrashekar sir in uh, technical universities they prefer technical uh, knowledge and they give priority they give importance as i am an english faculty i teach english uh, the two business english uh, for them and uh, one thing i also teach uh, professional ethics and uh, um, ipr uh, that is intellectual property rights and patents but these uh, these are the very crucial uh, subjects but the university has uh, made it uh, uh, no credit uh, system that's why the students don't get interest and they don't take it serious and how to develop their uh, involvement and engagement in the kind of thing and even in the professional ethics of the topics that they have it they talk about accidents and the analysis of accidents but then they talk about uh, success stories and uh, some some kind of thing that uh, they can involve them to develop their skill their uh, value systems and ethics in their practical life and uh, involvement thereby they will be get they can becoming good citizens responsible citizens and uh, they are proud citizens and in the same way they technically uh, this uh, ipr and p give them their knowledge okay and then uh, uh, expose them to the other languages also not only english foreign yeah. languages also that is the need of the other that is a french german arabic arabic and uh, chinese and uh, all languages rather it is a choice of the student to yes. choose or and thereby they he will be getting more opportunity learning new languages gives them more opportunities and that, 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 yeah, that is very much required 
and the universities don't have that kind of system to have this kind of education to be given to the students. So they have to rely upon MOOCs or other platforms like uh, British Council and uh, other uh, areas. NPTEL is uh, having some courses, but still they have to be more practical oriented. So uh, please uh, kindly guide us in this area. Yes, I fully agree with you that not only English, there are many other languages and then the scope is widened by way of learning foreign languages also and they can go to those different areas also. But as I see, there are many platforms available online also and one can easily uh, go for these classes, online classes for foreign languages also. There are platforms available. And apart from, apart from trying to grab some job opportunity in the industry, when can one can think of generating employment also? Yesterday it was in the newspaper that somebody at Chandigarh, uh, I think Chandigarh, he has converted the cigarette butts, the leftover portions, and he has started manufacturing cushions, and so many other recyclable products by use of cigarette butts. So he has kept different places, so many uh, these dustbins written as cigarette butts so that people should throw in that waste and he is using that waste and manufacturing innovative idea and uh, different products which are again the end product is recyclable. So there is a need to think, I think. And in India nowadays, there are ample opportunities and loan schemes and encouragement schemes, especially to new entrepreneurs, MSME sector. So many opportunities are there. So many schemes are there. I can tell five, six, most important schemes which are available and one can start the job right from day one. And there are people, they have started their venture business right the next day they were out from the college. I have some examples like that also before me. So it all depends if one really refers dcmsme.gov.in, ample opportunities are there, DIC district, uh, industry center every district has centers they can go and discuss with them and they can make the project plan project report and they can start their own ventures also so there are different directions it all depends what is really what is your passion one should definitely undertake a job which is close to the heart because Doing business, doing any job, it is not easy road. It is a rough road. Challenges come in between. One should not get disheartened. That is why if this profession will be close to his heart, he will not get disheartened. solution तो उसमें थकावट नहीं होती है जब हमारा काम मन पसंद होता है जॉब में भी सपोज मार्केटिंग में कोई जाता है लेकिन उसका इंटरेस्ट है मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में सो ही विल ट्राई टू लुक फॉर सम अदर अपॉर्चुनिटी ही विल ट्राई टू जंप सो ही विल गेट डिससैटिस्फाइड सो आईडिया इज हमें पहले से अपनी डायरेक्शन सेट करनी पड़ेगी व्हाट इज आवर पर्पस ऑफ डूइंग दिस कोर्स why at all I want to pass out this course and where I want to go. So that accordingly apne direction ko set karke, fit SWOT analysis karke, where I'm strong and where I'm weak. Apne weakness ke upar work out karna padega. Plan the work and work the plan will be the money. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Uh, in the foreign countries, uh, they encourage the students to take up startups, and the uh, university itself will be funding. 
and uh, they will be creating the ideas, generating ideas, and then uh, brainstorming, and then they also give a platform for uh, experimentation and exploration, but they give the technical know-how and uh, banks will be supporting financially they will be supporting and they will also uh, see the marketing so when a, a new entrepreneur is coming he will be having challenges he needs support he needs support of the technical support he needs uh, business support monetary benefits monetary is, uh, problems and uh, even in the competition how to outwin but the thing is uh, the, the, the the governments and the universities they are funding and uh, really they are uh, they are putting forward i i try to explain to you and uh, my son is uh, studying in ait uh, in um, uh, thailand uh, asian institute of technology they have developed a project where they want to reduce the plastics so in uh, in the university itself they have started the whole is uh, uh, giving plastics and uh, what they do they give in return a, a, an earthen a cup instead of using rather uh, uh, the plastic cup and they give that uh, the one which is reusable and which is biodegradable in the same way they also think of the future prospects and what are the problems for example food agriculture and these are the areas they work on uh, they are thinking uh, 500 years uh, what is the requirement and they go they are doing research on the kind of a uh, marine plankton as a food for the future they are working on that and uh, they want to convert to that as a business idea. In the same way, the other ideas that they have got, for example, networking, uh, for example, health uh, networking, how to get the information about the diseases and uh, the cause of diseases and the extent of diseases and how to monitor that. Monitor that. And the WHO needs the, the data and uh, countries are giving and universities in turn, they develop their kind of research and uh, encourage students to uh, do the startups. And really that they feel comfortable to work there and they feel they want to experiment there. Is it the right thing, sir? I will have to think on this uh, problem and uh, can share my views on this uh, later. And uh, that's what all I can say right now because different things are coming in mind. So I need to consolidate and think over it. But the fact is also this, that even in India, we have about 10, 15 institutions, hotels available for providing skills training, to students for working in urban or rural areas, they can later on think which stream, which area they want to go. So, so many opportunities are available as on date. One can undergo these uh, ex uh, skill development programs on these portals. Most of the training programs are being conducted online. Three days, five days, one week training programs are there and number of programs in different areas. And that one can explore and take the direction which is really close to his heart, the passion he has or she has. Such platforms are there. I can send that list of all those institutions also to uh, Dr. Vikas Garg. But it is all available on internet. Thank you, sir. I request all the participants to switch on the camera so we can have a group photograph. <laughs> 